Hola amigos. It's your old pal Bad Dave. I'm joined as always with series co-creator Dave Strochak back in historic Elizabeth, New Jersey. One of the many great things about this city is its multicultural diversity. Meaning, you don't have to go to other countries to enjoy the food of those countries. Case in point today, Mexico. Great thing about Elizabeth Avenue, there are 67 restaurants and bakeries representing over 50 countries. But today, we're at La Cabana Mexican Restaurant on the corner of Elizabeth Ave and Jake Street. 901 Elizabeth Ave to be exact. This was the site for all you history buffs of Swede's Deli, the iconic German deli of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. But today, it's Mexican food, authentic. We're gonna to talk to Miguel. Hey, what do you think? Nah, save that for later. <laughs> We're here at La Cabana with owner Miguel Barajas. Miguel? Welcome to La Cabana. I hope you guys are hungry and see you later. Absolutely. We're always hungry. <laughs> Let's hit it. It's a nice place to come with friends and have fun. It's really nice. You come to La Cabana all the time? Yeah, Ooh, yeah, all like the time. It. Great service, good ambience, very nice and authentic place. Yeah. Definitely a good choice. If you're in the mood for Mexican food, good choice. La Cabana is the best. Piper, what do you got there? The Coyo Arabado. What about you, Ruby? Um, I love the steak tacos here. I got the steak flautas. What brings you here? We were craving authentic Mexican food. Sergio? What better way to celebrate Spanish Heritage Month than right here at La Cabana on Lucid Avenue. Truly a crown jewel here. Pretty much my favorite episode we've ever done. You know one of mine, right? We've been coming here for like over 10 years. And um, we love it here. We come graduations, uh, birthday parties, and my go-to is right here in Elizabeth. It's uh, La Cabana. Usually I get um, the shrimp with chipotle sauce. It's um, a little bit hot. Um, it comes with rice and beans, a little bit of cheese. And today my dad, we got um, just grilled chicken with a little bit of sauce, red sauce, with rice and beans as well. And we love coming here just because of the so authentic right here. We're from down uh, south in uh, Red Bank, but in Mexico, we're from down south as well, in Puebla, uh, Mexico. And yeah, we love it here. Um, where we come from, you can't find food like this. It's um, the guys, the owners here, they're from up north in Mexico, but um, the food is just absolutely great. Let's try one of the shrimps. So, Beth, Dave, what do you think? Wow! I'm speechless. Someone talk me through this. What's this? Uh, right there you have a fresh margarita. It has some salt and lime. Authentic Mexican margarita right there. You're gonna think I'm lying. This is my first margarita I've ever had. I'm a Coors Light guy. This is amazing. Ever? Ever. Wow. What's going on here? Uh, right there you have a homemade enchiladas. It brings uh, chicken inside of it with a side of rice and beans. Uh, what is the green sauce? The green sauce is just made out of green um, peppers. And what's going on up here? This big boy looks like a lot of seafood. Right there you have a classic Mexican cocktail. It brings uh, shrimp, octopus, uh, fresh, fresh avocado. Look at that, that is amazing. Right there you have steak with uh, shrimp and a side of green, um, side of rice and beans. And this is refried beans, right? Yes. That's famous. Okay, and what do we have here? What am I washing it down with? Right there you have a michelada. That one, you put the corona inside. It already has some salt, lime, and some pepper, some squished pepper on it. <clears throat> so what is the, what is this? It's, it's a spicy drink? Yes. What do you think, Claudia? Wow. That's delicious. It's like a spicy Bloody Mary. With a little tahini, right? A little exactly. Tahini oh man. 
Wow. So good. I know the guacamole, they make fresh every day. They're famous for that here. Yes. So uh, we're going to dig in here a little bit. What do you think about your enchilada, about that? Love it. Love it. So we do a little bit of the refried beans, a little bit of the rice, right? Yes. And to the tortilla. Okay. And then we go a little bit of the shrimp. Get that out there. We go a little of the shrimp with the peppers yes. and the meat. This is a bistec. Right? Wow, look at you. Yeah, yeah, and then we go here, right? So yeah, we just go. add a little bit of pepper on that. A little bit, oh, is that too much? Oh my goodness. Too hot. Too hot? Uh oh. All right, then we're going to go this. I know this is really, really hot. And Red then chili. you got your classic taco right there and enjoy it. And then we go like to the lime, right? A little lime. So we roll that baby up. Okay, it's, you'd say it's going to be too hot, huh? Mmm. And the thing is, too. Some folks that, that are That's crazy hot. about Mexican food, mm. connoisseurs of Mexican food, find a lot of Mexican places aren't spicy enough, aren't hot enough. This place, if you so order it that way, is super hot, super spicy. Wow. That's really spicy. <laughs> <laughs> zoom, in on, zoom in on his tears. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wash it down with a little... Michelada. Right Michelada. There. Some of the best beans I've had in a while. Yeah. This is authentic northern Mexican food. Family generations of recipes passed down. Miguel Barajas, the owner, opened this place over 23 years ago. He's going to tell us all about it. Everything we make is, is fresh because we prepare everything here. Like the sauce and everything, all the ingredients, we prepare it here. So the recipes are from uh, my hometown. We do everything by order. We don't have nothing cooked, so that's why everything is fresh. Uh, enchiladas and green sauce, I recommend it to people. A shrimp cocktail is uh, something is very different. People think they're ceviche, but it is it's totally different. It's the way we serve in my uh, town, in uh, Steak La Cabana. It's one of the best uh, dishes we have, or steak with shrimps. All right, anything else you want to say to the people about La Cabana? Well, I want to say thank you to all my customers. Uh, you know, I got people that have been coming for 23 years. Get some people coming like twice a week, three times a week. And I just want to say thank you to them for supporting me. And what are your hours here? Uh, 10 to 9.30. Actually, 10 to 10. Mostly 10 to 10. Every day? Every day. Seven days a week. I get the small sombrero. <laughs> hey guys, remember, Hispanic Heritage Month, September 15th to October 15th. A lot of events going on in the city of Elizabeth, but it starts right here at La Cabana, Mexican restaurant, 901 Elizabeth Avenue. Yes. Join the fiesta. Join the fiesta. <laughs>